you talked about safety a little bit, but can you talk a little bit more about uh, the safety of Wellmune? Is it something we can take every day and, and still be okay for us? Sure. Uh, another area I enjoy talking about because safety is, is very important uh, to something that's going to be consumed on a daily basis. Uh, it's very important. Let's talk about safety from a couple of angles. First, let's talk about product composition. If I'm going to take a product day in and day out, I want to know the composition. I want it well-defined. Uh, in the case of Wellmune, there is one active ingredient. It's the beta-1316 glucan that uh, is isolated from the cell wall of Baker's yeast. And as we say, Wellmune is, is guaranteed minimum 75% and typically runs quite a bit higher in that concentration. Um, that's very important because a known composition gives you something to study in, sa in safety and toxicology studies. Very important uh, with respect to toxicology that the right studies are conducted. Typically, uh, before an ingredient is used and declared safe, you want to run what are called subchronic toxicity studies. And subchronic toxicity studies means that uh, in a particular model, uh, research model, that you're feeding this for at least 90 days and observing the effects of, of various levels of the material uh, on the overall health uh, of the research model. Um, we did this several times with Wellmune at, 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 at uh, concentrations up to 1,000 times the standard dose and found that Wellmune was very well tolerated uh, and uh, very safe for uh, the research models, the animal models that were used uh, in our research publications. So back in 2007, we published the, this data in Food and Chemical Toxicology. And I think an important side point to make with respect to um, the research at BioThera is everything gets published. Uh, everything from our safety data, mechanism of action, preclinical and clinical data, we have quite a portfolio of published research. Uh, and that adds to the second aspect of, of, the, re of the safety of Wellmune. Of course, it's demonstrated and published in various uh, typical toxicology models, but we also naturally monitor the safety of Wellmune in all of our human studies. That's a very important aspect uh, in terms of understanding the safety of the ingredient and demonstrating it long term. And along with that, talk a little bit more about the research that supports the health benefits of Wellmune. Sure. Uh, Wellmune is very well researched. Uh, we've published now nine different studies uh, and we've actually conducted a number of additional studies beyond that. Uh, we often will do small pilot scale studies uh, with just a small number of human studies to help uh, human subjects, excuse me. We often conduct our studies with just a small number of human subjects so that we can model or understand how best to design our studies. So our studies have demonstrated consistent benefits in helping to maintain overall physical health. Uh, as we spoke earlier, there's a whole range of events that occur in our daily lives, from pollution and uh, outward stress that we experience to the typical health uh, challenges such as cold and flu that we experience uh, and encounter routinely. And having a strong immune system is your best defense against a lot of these potential uh, health issues. Uh, with Wellmune, we have used a lot of uh, valid, clinically valid models for demonstrating that we maintain physical health that during periods of high physical or lifestyle stress, that we also help to maintain the health of the subjects in those studies. Uh, using physical uh, stress first as an example, we have several published studies where we've looked at um, high physical stress. Some of these are more uh, rigorous uh, in terms of the physical stress, such as marathon studies, of which we have two publications. Another one, uh, we've used exercise stress and looked at various immune biomarkers. And consistently in these different models, we're able to demonstrate that Wellmune helps to maintain physical health, helps the subjects to um, recover their physical health quicker uh, after a marathon, let's say, when you have significant stress on your respiratory tract. And also in particular models where we have uh, physical stress of an of a, a intensive nature, such as uh, some of the exercise stress models that we've used. We've demonstrated that Wellmune helps uh, certain immune cell parameters recover more rapidly than uh, for subjects on the placebo. And if we take a different route, and not everybody is a marathon runner, <laughs> of course, if we take a slightly different route 
and we talk about common lifestyle stress. So let's talk about some careers where there's uh, combinations of physical and lifestyle stress. We have conducted and, and published a study with, for example, medical stu uh, students. We did the study at Southampton University in the UK. And there we saw improvements in, in maintenance of overall physical health over a 90-day period, uh, where, where subjects um, obviously were under high physical and lifestyle stress. They're working long hours. They're around sick people because they're in a hospital environment. Uh, and they maintain their health, all the way to another type of study. We did a study uh, probably five years ago with firefighters. Uh, and these are, uh, were wildland firefighters, subjects of people who go out and fight forest fires uh, in, the, in the western part of the United States, and they're off for several weeks at a time in the wilderness. And what we saw with that study was that the subjects maintained the physical health and had better overall feelings of health than did um, subjects in the placebo group. And then lastly, when we just take the common lifestyle stress that we all, all experience, recently we published uh, a study looking at the overall lifestyle stress of women and how women with moderate to high lifestyle stress help, were able to maintain their health better. They had better feeling, better energetic feelings, uh, fewer symptoms of, of cold or flu were noted um, in the study for those subjects that took Wellmune than those that were on placebo. So overall, there's a, a, a range of clinical studies that have been published that demonstrate the health uh, benefits of Wellmune. Uh, secondly, there's a long-term commitment to continuing to generate uh, clinical research and publications that support Wellmune. We conduct anywhere between two and four clinical studies, depending on the complexity and the cost, of course. Uh, to help further support the benefits of Wellmune uh, for those people that are interested in consuming it.